A database partition is a small piece or subset of a database table. Database tables can have lots of partitions which don't overlap and make up all the table data. There are two types of partitions. There's horizontal partition, which is a subset of table rows, and vertical partition, which is, which is a subset of table columns. Most relational databases, such as MySQL, are horizontal. Partitions are automatically stored in separate table spaces by the database, but DBAs can also specify where to put them. Table indexes are also partitioned, where the indexes on each partition only contain rows for that partition. A shard is a subset of a database table, but the data is spread across multiple computers or a distributed database. With partitioning, the data stays in a single database instance. A partition expression specifies the value of a single column or multiple partition columns. Partition rows are assigned in several different ways. There is range partition, where each partition is associated with a range of partition expression values. And to set the range, you specify the upper bounds with the keyword's values, less than, and specify high columns with the keyword max value. Range partition types are the most commonly used. There's list partitions, where each partition is associated with a list of partition expression values. This is done using the keywords values in. And a hash partition is a partition expression that must be a positive integer value specified by the DBA and they're numbered starting from zero to n minus one. So if there's n partitions, the first one is numbered zero and the last one is n minus one. And since it's a hash, each row's partition is computed as a partition's expression value percent %n, where percent is modulus and it gets the integer remainder. In MySQL, a key partition is like a hash partition, but the partition expression is automatically determined by the database.